I know um, my mother has um, booklets, but these were her, uh, Kathleen's um, publications. But I think these were given to my mother by Kathleen. Um, but the, the other thing is um, this duologue, which is a typewritten um, couple of pages entitled A Wedding to Remember. And this has just been with my mother's effects, um, together with the booklets of Kathleen's. And I don't really know how... Um, how else apart from it's come straight from Kathleen <laughs> signed by Kathleen um, but um, yes so you never you don't know anything of it from your mother's no well? it's just it was just with my mother's effects fascinating because <laughs> of course the great thing about that very short play is that it's um is the only only the fifth play of Kathleen Farragut's to be seen. Mm. Um, the four others are published in one book of theatre. But um, isn't it isn't it very similar? Didn't you say from a, an article? Um, a lot of a lot of the stuff did feed between the stories and the plays and the poems. She was doing a story and often poems every week in the newspaper. Yes, so there was yes. a lot of yeah cross-germination but uh, the interesting thing about having read this one here a wedding to remember is that it builds on the poem unfortunately it doesn't have any date on it mm. but um, it must be quite late I would have thought what was the date of the, uh, the poem I don't think it's an early one it was the story was named A Really Memorable Wedding Breakfast from the 17th of se September 1971. But that refers to a poem from The Curlew's Call, which was published in the late 50s. Oh, I, I, the only reason I think this one's later is because one of the references <laughs> is... Uh, soap packet roses and daffodils and I can remember I'm sure it, well I don't know whether I can or not but um, plastic daffodils being given with um, washing powder <laughs> I don't know whether I'm making that up now <laughs> and that's if, they, if I am right then that would have been like the 60s <laughs> so what does that mean to you that um, lashings of them soap packet roses and daffodils. Does that mean anything to you? No, it doesn't. No, at all. well, no, I sort of I remember. I'm sure I remember plastic daffodils being given with um, washing powder, daz or something. How do you feel about the play itself? Well, I I always wanted it to be kept. I mean, it never occurred to me that it was just a piece of tatty paper and um, although I did make um, inquiries or, or look on the internet there was, not, there was not very much that I could find out about Kathleen and so I just hung on to this piece of paper um, thinking well somebody will know about it eventually um, and it was only when uh, you advertised on the radio and uh, paper that uh, I saw you were doing the project on Kathleen and so it's it's obvious that um, it should be kept with her her work. And I've just got it now in safekeeping, <laughs> basically. 